Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to study the effect of constant voltage scaling on some of the basic parameters of the transistor. In the previous clip, we have identified the drawback of constant field scaling and we also understood that because of the need of level shifters and voltage translators, full scaling or constant field scaling is not a very good idea, though it had its own advantages as well. It helped us in reducing the power dissipation static or dynamic by S square. To avoid the problem which occurred due to level shifters and voltage translators, we moved on or we move on to constant voltage scaling. Here all the parameters are scaled down by a factor of S except for all the supply and terminal voltages. Okay, let's start with the first term here and that is nothing but oxide capacitance. We know that oxide capacitance is given by COX equal to permittivity of the oxide upon the thickness oxide. We know in constant voltage scaling also the TOX is scaled down by a factor of S. So we'll make it real quick because we have already derived all this in detail in constant field scaling. Permittivity upon TOX and S goes up. So what did we understand that the oxide capacitance in constant voltage scaling as well increases by a factor of S. Let's move on to gate capacitance. We also saw that gate capacitance is nothing but Cg equal to oxide capacitance into W into L. We know that oxide capacitance for constant voltage scaling increases by a factor of S. Width and length both are reduced by a factor of S. So what is that? C dash G is equal to S into COX into W into L upon S square. So what do we understand? That the gate capacitance for constant voltage scaling as well reduces by S. So C dash G is equal to CG by S. Let's move on. ID linear. We know that the equation of ID in linear region is given by transconductance by 2 W by L twice into VGS minus VTN into VDS minus VDS the whole square. We are already aware of this. Let's see what happens in constant voltage scaling. We know that COX is increasing by a factor of S. Width is going down by a factor of S. Length is going down by a factor of S. And there's no change in any of the voltages. So both this S will cancel out each other. And finally what we'll get is that ID dash or ID after scaling in linear region is S times more than ID in linear region before scaling. Let's go ahead quick. ID in saturation. Very, very similar. Again, the equation is there and we already know it by now. We know that the oxide capacitance increases by a factor of S, width reduces by a factor of S, length reduces by a factor of S, and the voltages are unchanged. So we see that S and S will get cancelled out and ID sat is equal to S times ID sat before scaling. So saturation region and linear region currents both are increased by a factor of S in constant voltage scaling whereas in constant field scaling both were reduced by a factor of S. Let's go ahead and now let's see what's happening on current density. Current density is given by ID upon area. ID in linear or in saturation we just saw for constant voltage scaling is increased by a factor of S and area as you see is reducing by a factor of S square. Let's substitute this in current density ID by S S square by A, oh, I beg your pardon here. ID is increasing by a factor of S and area is reducing. So totally what we get is the current density is increasing by a factor of S cube compared to what it was before scaling. This is one of the major drawbacks of constant voltage scaling. In the following clip, we will understand when a large amount of current flows in a very small area or a unit area, it leads to migration of metal atoms, which lead to a phenomena called as electromigration. We'll see this in further clips. For the time being, you can just focus on that current density is increasing by a factor of S cube. So in further clips, we'll see the effect of constant voltage scaling on some of the other parameters and we'll also see the drawbacks of constant voltage scaling like electromigration in much more detail. Hope you have understood and stay tuned for further clips. Thank you.